Hey everyone, in this video we are going to install the EVO X3 ROM It is a custom ROM which I suppose stands for Evolution X version 3 So uh, the changes in this ROM are from version 2 are a revamped UI, a removed custom kernel, uh, some useful apps added and overall an optimization and many more and many more changes so this ROM also has at least seven over the air updates available for now so there are a lot of changes which we are going to apply after watching the ROM so okay uh, as usual the first step is to download the zip file to your SD card the second step is to boot into recovery mode also if you don't have Google mode recovery you can find a download link for it in the link in the video description okay so once you're ready with everything the next part the next step is to power off the phone and boot into recovery mode you can do that by holding the home button the power button and the volume up at the same time so once your phone turns off hold the three buttons ok and now we are in recovery mode from here, you, you need to flash Coco Mode Recovery. Choose Apply Update from SD card. Scroll down a bit. Then choose uh, the Coco Mode Recovery. Now, from here, the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to wipe data. So choose that it will clean your phone from phone from our installed apps and stuff just that the next thing is to wipe the cache partition choose that choose yes once you have done all of this you can choose to install it from SD card now choose the from SD card and go down and locate the evolution x3 here it is the zip file choose that uh, choose yes again and now you wait for the installation to be complete I'll be back once it is done and install from SD card complete now press the power or the back button to go back to this menu and what we're going to do is one more thing Again, we are going to wipe data, choose yes, wipe cache, finally choose the first option reboot system now, and now be patient for the first boot. So I am going to speed up this video to not waste minutes in size, and we are going to have a look at the ROM in just a bit. Be patient, because the first boot as usual takes a while. and ok we are here so uh, change the language if you need to to your native language I'm just gonna use English um, ok I'm just going to skip the setups from here so here we have the default setup screen for everything just gonna tap next and ok this is our home screen this is the default wallpaper and launcher and ok the first thing as I promised is to check the over the air updates so go to settings and we're going to check for updates there we go we have an available update so just choose to download it Stop. 
our zip okay uh, by default you can see how it has wipe cache enabled so just leave it like that and choose install so it will automatically boot into recovery to force the zip file and it will automatically reboot so just choose install and wait for the installation to be complete allow it root access and everything and now we just wait And okay, it seems to have rebooted, but it has a very quick screen timeout setting because the screen turns out in seconds if it's not active from the looks of it or at least in the walk screen. Anyways, this was the over the air update which you just applied, and now it tells us that there are no updates available. So, okay, this is the latest version which we are currently seeing, and uh, the pre-installed apps is no frills, but since this doesn't have a custom kernel, uh, we don't have governance just as that, so you can just use someone else's kernel to be able to use this too. Let's have a look at the browser here quickly. It's a bit themed, but it looks like it's the stock browser. Yep. Check out my files. Let's have a quick look at the status bar okay that's neat looks good you've got the toggles and everything else settings they are organized as you can see quite well here you have more modifications um, walk screen settings, EDT tweaks, you should be familiar with those who have used custom kernels uh, custom ROMs, sorry um, it has a terminal emulator from the looks of it here ok that's good, these are integrated into the settings and you've got CPU settings which runs, no free CPU only have two governors here you can take a walk at, change animations, fonts and uh, yeah some other stuff quick panel settings and everything else so there you have it this was the installation video for this ROM I just showed you how to install it how to update it and this was a quick preview of what it contains once you install it and so yeah that's about it you can find a download link for this in the link in the video description please like this video if it helped and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and goodbye